Dina, I was up towards your house a little while ago and I noticed a little tiny aquaponic system that didn't seem to have a filter on it, actually, which fascinated me. So can you tell me what, what have you built that for? Sure, that's just a, a micro system. Actually, it was kind of our practice system. That's kind of where we like to say we got our feet wet when we started doing aquaponics. When you actually started? It's where we actually started. Um, and we, we recommend anybody that wants to do something at this level to, to do a small system first. And the real nice thing about it is that then it becomes our little test area. I never want to compromise everything up, anything up here. This is where I make my money. So this is serious down here. You're right. going to do any experiments here. Right. But up there is... If we do any experiments, yeah. we do it right down there. Fantastic. It works pretty well. It's been running up for a good year and a half. I was listening to you talking earlier and you, you were saying about low density fish, which I thought was pretty smart because I think the tendency of most people is we want to have hundreds of fish in our system. So the fact that you keep a low fish density makes it pretty smart, like it makes it so that you're not running such a great risk of fish deaths. Absolutely. And is there still plenty of nutrient? There is, there's plenty of nutrients. So we want to we want to capitalize on the fact that we can have as few fish as possible to grow as much food as possible. Because the main game is really the veggies, isn't it? Absolutely. Really? Yeah, absolutely. We've developed a niche market. We don't have to sell to the big box stores or to the, the big grocery store chains. We sell right to our end user, which are chefs that are clamoring for our product. Every week it's, what do you have for me? What can you grow for me? And we sell it also to our buying club. So again, we go right to our end product and we get our best price if possible.